Hey TPG Tech Squad, and today is a very somber day for me. As much as I've tried and researched, um, the, the more and more I had to swallow the bitter pill of defeat. This singular machine has single-handedly made me have to rethink my methods in computer repair in general. But before you pity me too much, make sure to like, comment, and possibly subscribe on the videos. Your support helps me to further develop my content and skills, as well as solve interesting problems like this. Now, um, if you watched my previous Latitude Showcase, where I teased uh, a new job concerning a, a BioSlock and a new computer, I, yeah, I had planned on presenting that, and I'm presenting it alright, but, um, there's still a lot of work to be done with her. The computer in question is, without question, kind of a mythical creature in this realm, being the Panasonic Toughbook CF31 Mark V. Toughbooks on their own are very elusive creatures actually on the internet information wise, but this model in particular has only three or four references in total that Google bothered to produce to let me know that it even exists at all in any other instance, let alone any detailed documentation. <laughs> That's kind of why I was forced to make this video. That and me having to concede and repairing it as it is. I don't have the skills or the tools to, to do so yet. Yet, I might add. Let me go over uh, what I found out for you guys. We received this tough book from the gift that keeps on given known only as eBay again. I immediately was infatuated with just how cool this thing actually was and that it worked despite it looking like it was submerged in epoxy for three years. <laughs> so I did the only rational thing and bought it without any second thoughts or research into it because like, let us let me be honest with you guys, I don't like to spoil myself on uh, fixes or jobs until I get my hands on a, a good like and get a script up for you guys. I just thought it was more enjoyable and more authentic. And bioslocks are usually pretty extremely easy. So I thought I was wrong. <laughs> Finally getting my hands all on her and after searching for solutions for bioslocks, of these computers, like I usually do, I realized just how serious the situation was with it. Post after post of Bioslock Toughbooks came up. Even the darn motherboards were usually Bioslocked. Turns out this problem is actually extremely common and very difficult to actually repair. Essentially, its BIOS information is stored within an EEPROM. Which, if you don't know, it's a kind of ROM that doesn't, it's not dynamic and it doesn't, uh, when the power is turned off, it doesn't lose any information like RAM. So all of the information is stored, regardless of if you were to remove CMOS, which is a typical solution for BIOS um, restoration or BIOS um, re like information removal. And it needs to be manually removed and flashed to actually resolve our issue. And I will admit, sadly, I have zero skills in soldering or soldering tools at all. If I did, you, I would actually do like a ton of videos on it though, so it kind of makes sense. So after further research, I found out how different this particular model was actually. You see tough book models like this always begin with CF and two other numbers describing its general model, like it's how old it is or whatever. This one does identify as a CF31, but its specific model number afterwards is where it gets interesting. Take a look at it. On websites describing model numbers for this particular make and model, I found no mention of this specific model at all. Only when I searched for the model directly on the old Google, they had some scant references to it on military stuff so so i had to conclude that this tough book in particular was meant for military use which is why it doesn't have very much information and the model is so strange 
if you are knowledgeable with tough books let me know in the comments if my theory is correct so with all of this research i had to admit that again i simply wasn't equipped to handle the job yet i know the more i'm more sad that i was I won't be able to test the thing out or do anything cool with it but this is more good than bad know that i'm aware that there's a huge market for soldering and i actually have been interested in soldering for a very very long time but money is just super tight for me and i've got a lot of work on my plate but for the meantime i'm going to have to try to scrape together some money and get the old soldering kit and practice on some of the motherboards that i had lying around and i think that would be pretty pretty cool to um put some videos up working on them I am super excited to know what you guys are thinking on this particular topic. So let me know in the comment sections how you feel and about some more advanced videos. Well, this is going to be um, a little bit of a shorter video out of me. See you in the next vid. I'm out. Hey, glad to see you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. TPG out.